Today we'll be doing something fun. Let's look at what the orcs call the other races of the Warhammer 40k universe. And some of these are interesting. First of all, we start with the Git, or Gits, when referred to multiple people, I guess you could call them that. And it's a casual term, it refers to a bunch of things, be it snotlings, humans, Eldars, whatever you want. It's always Git. But it's pretty meh, you kind of always hear it. They refer to each other as Gits, so at this point I think it's just like calling each other moron, if you want. But let's look at the more specific things, because this is what point made me want to do this video. First, for the humans, we have Yumis, which basic, cut the H and remove the S for humans and put a Z at the end, you get Yumis. Classic, we've heard it before in Dawn of War. Then, we have for the squats, stunties. <laughs> yes, this video is made just so I can amuse myself. Sue me. Stunties for the squats. Fitting. Really fitting. Now for the Eldar, we have a variety of insults. Since the orcs know of the Eldar for longer than they have known of humanity or the squats. We have pansies. Runty little gits, pointy eared gits, or pointy ear, and elfies. Do I think the elfies one is uh, technically a Warhammer fantasy term? I, I just looked around for this, so it is what it is. But those are funny, especially calling them pansies or runny little gits. That's funny. How can you how can you not like the orcs? Next, we have beakies for space marines. This refers to the beaky helmet that uh, space marines used to wear, be it in Mark IV armor or in Mark VI or in the current Mark before the Primaris, before Mark X, Mark VII, Mark VIII, those that permitted such usage. But, you know, beakies make sense. Next, we have tyranids. We have bug eyes. Normal. Bugs. Understandable. Griblies. I don't even know. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. But it's called griblies. Next, we move to something related to the Tyranids. Gene stealers. These are called gene sneakers. <laughs> I guess it fits. The Orcs are very creative with their names. I have to say. For chaos, they use spiky boys. Which, if you ever stabbed yourself with a Chaos Mini, you understand why they say that. Everything makes sense. For big robots, these include, hear me out, Dreadnoughts, Stompas, Titans, Knights, the equivalent that the Eldar have, I forgot, the Wraith Guards and Wraith Knights, whatever. They use Stompy Gits. Stompy Gits. I guess it makes sense, you know, they stomp stuff. Well, that's good. The Tau. The Tau... <laughs> they use the following names for the Tau. Fish, ed fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads. They're calling them fish heads, which is appropriate. I give them that. Gun runs. Admittedly not as fun as runty little gits. But still, or runny little gits. And they also use sometimes the words such as blue boys, since they're blue. And surprisingly, they even use the word Tau. Maybe because it's the easiest name for the orcs to pronounce. It's not complicated, doesn't have that many syllables in it. And I think that's why they can say Tau, but they have a trouble, they have trouble saying Tyranids or stuff like that. And next, let's look at the Necrons. The Necrons are funny. They have thin heads. Thin heads. Makes sense. Metal boys. Toughing gits. I don't even know this one. Thin gits. After the thin heads, makes sense they're calling them thin gits. Gray skins. The Ghost Warriors, and in Dawn of War, the first one I think, the Dark, Dark Crusade, yes, 
they call them, they call the Necrons humans who need feeding. Humans who need feeding. They're calling them malnourished humans. I, I, I like it. I, I just wanted to do something related to orcs here because it's fun. My favorite one is the runny little gits or the runty little gits. Pansies, um, bug eyes, I guess, works for Terranids. But I think that the ones for the Eldar are the most fun ones, in all honesty. Sure, a fish head is kind of fun for the Tau too, admittedly. And the best Necron one is, of course, Yumi's who needs feeding. But the orcs have this simplicity of referring to things that is so much better than anything else. Never change, orcs. You are the best of us.